Tim Nash from Coding Futures, another international from London. <laughs> nice to see you here. Thank you. And so uh, we were talking a bit about your company. You're just doing really great things in the philanthropy world. Tell people what it's all about. Okay, well, we're a, a development firm, so we do web development and we integrate payment systems for charity. So basically, when you go online and you make a donation, hopefully it's our stuff that's actually making the donation on your behalf. Unfortunately, we do the boring back end bits, the, you know, so. We, we, can't, we don't do all the fun graphics at the front and we don't do the appeals part, but we, when it comes to actually pressing the button, then we take over, we make the payment for you, and then hand you back over to the, and pass your details over to the charities. And who are some of the charities that you work with? Um, the biggest charity we're currently working with is the World Food Programme. Yeah. Uh, and they've got a new campaign called We Feedback, which mm -hmm. is going to come online soon, and we provide the payment solution for that. Really cool. How did you get into uh, the niche of the charities and nonprofits? Um, it's because of PayPal. Uh, we were, basically, we went to a PayPal event last year called yeah. Charity Hack, uh -huh. uh, which we came up with the idea called Charity Frag, which was a computer game uh, which most charities wouldn't like because the idea was you went around and when you shot your friend, they had to pay some money to charity. And you shocked when you shocked? So when you shot somebody Sh okay. in the game. Oh, in not, the shot. Yeah, no, like, no. Okay. <laughs> no not, so when you, when you shoot somebody in the game and they die, the person who died pays the money to charity. It makes it productive. You see, that's productive video game yeah, play. play. I like that. The idea was that uh, the younger age groups are the people who don't give, it, give enough money to charity. So it's like, how do we get to them? Interesting. Okay, we get to them in the games that they're playing. So we won Charity Hack and the trip was to come here to San Francisco to mm -hmm. Innovate 09 uh, where we met up uh, with a member from the World Food Program. We started getting talking, we said, oh, we've got these really cool ideas and then they introduced us to some of the things that they were doing and we thought, wow, let's, let's do something together. So you've been here last year, now this year. How have you seen things change? It's got bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's moved. We don't need a bus to get uh, from the hotel to the yeah. venue. Uh, it's nice to see a lot more people and a lot more companies that are very more diverse. Mm -hmm. Last year was very much payments and payments providers. Now there's people who just use payments as, as one tiny part of their company here. And it's been amazing to see people who had ideas last year actually now having stands because their product's been done. So that's very cool. What are you hoping to see more from PayPal as a developer? Them to ca carry on innovating um, because at the moment they're in a halfway house. They still have some old products that are workhorses. We, you have to use them because that's the standard. Mm -hmm. And they're slowly being brought more up to date. And I think as long as they keep doing that, things will be good. The one thing that's worrying is if they stop doing that innovation and they go, oh, okay, everybody's happy. Oh, I'm we're, sure we're, that would stop. But as it long continues. as it keeps going, it's going to appeal it to us. And they've made huge strides in actually coming and reaching out to developers and saying, mm -hmm. hey, come use our cool stuff. So we're there going, okay. And, and just that ability for me to get online and go to DCS's homepage and go, actually be able to talk to an engineer straight away and go, hi, I've got this problem. And they go, well, sometimes they can give you the answer. Sometimes it'll be, I need to go and find the engine. But you know that actually someone's physically got off their desk, walked down the, around the campus in San Jose and gone and found the person That's and dragged great. them back and went, solve that problem. Mm -hmm. And that, to have that connection and that closeness is fantastic and something that very few other companies do. What would you, what kind of projects would you love to do in the future, in the year from now when we're here at Innovate? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> It's, we're, we're doing more and more payment and social driven payments uh -huh. so we're, we're getting very much into the idea of trying to engage with people in the places that they want to be in so online that's places like Facebook and Twitter and working at how we can intercept them almost inside their ecosystem and go hi you want to make a donation to charity and if we can do that and we can tap in there and it's very close, uh, close garden so if we can get over the wall and get in, then I think we can do really great things. Uh, it's it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but hopefully in a year's time we'll be here going and we got we managed to convince Facebook to let us in and do some cool stuff. Very nice. Well, best of luck. Thank you so Thank much. You.